Okay, in this video, we're going to uh, take apart a Galaxy. I'm sorry, we're going to take apart an iPhone. As you can see, it's working perfectly. The touch screen works perfectly. Uh, it's a good phone. So, uh, I just wanted to show you what happens when we disconnect or remove certain micro parts. Uh, and this is just to help you uh, when it comes to future diagnosis uh, so you can understand if something doesn't work. Uh, what is most likely causing it and this is all assuming that it's not software which I'll like, explain in uh, the last lecture of this section so uh, as you can see right now everything is still working uh, all the buttons work perfectly fine uh, and I do apologize about the cut off screen uh, but basically everything's working 100% uh, the power button everything So let's just slide off this uh, back cover. Uh, we're going to remove the motherboard shell uh, that covers six of the flex cables, uh, the digitizer, the LCD, the front, I'm sorry, the back camera, uh, and also the front camera, the power button, and the volume key. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all these screws. I'm going to take off the motherboard shell. Start by removing the digitizer flex cable. Okay. Now, the LCD works, but now as you can see, the touch doesn't work. Okay, so if someone's touch screen doesn't work with an iPhone, uh, that's something you might want to try. Reattaching. Now we're going to remove the LCD. And you can hear it power on. Uh, but no matter how many times I hit the power button, nothing, not a, I'm not getting any display. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the uh, LCD, which is the one on the right, by the way, and then the digitizer it just snapped on. And uh, as you can see, now we have both working. Just to give you a rough idea. So once again, if a customer ever comes in with a faulty uh, screen, those are things you want to check out. So right now, we removed the uh, bottom cable. Okay. That one was the volume keys and the silent key. No matter how mo how many times I hit the volume keys, as you can see, nothing, nada, no response. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, while I'm at it disconnect the middle key as well the middle side the middle flex okay. that was the power button so no matter how many times I hit the power button I'm not getting anything so let's just go ahead and reconnect those two I'm going to reconnect the power button and the volume keys and uh, now the power button's working again. And so is the volume keys. As well as the silent button. And then we're going to disconnect the top flex, uh, which is responsible for the front camera. And we're going to try the camera out, and surely enough, it's frozen. Nothing. We're not getting any response frozen black, no camera, no matter what I do to it. So these are just rough ideas of how you can use uh, process of elimination, uh, logic, and uh, begin to diagnose phones by being aware and familiar with the different micro parts, as I just showed you about five of them. And when you really understand the micro parts, um, and you're aware of the assembly of the phone, Diagnosing should really just come pretty easily. You should be able to determine uh, whatever the issue is, uh, what's causing it. For example, we have the battery here, the battery flex, the charging port, and the loudspeaker are all connected uh, via this charging dock flex as well. So if that was disconnected or damaged, you wouldn't be able to charge it. You wouldn't hear anything. Either. And then it also has the antenna 
to be a snake. Um, that one's a Wi-Fi antenna. There's two antennas. And that one's a signal antenna. Okay, so if you're not getting any signal, it's uh, that little snake cable that needs to be replaced. Alright. Good luck. Oh, and that's the watermark sticker, by the way.